Hi, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these super easy and inexpensive gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> faux candles and these were um, made with a combination of glitter and Dollar Tree bling and I put a little cute reindeer in the back and I'll tell you where I got that from uh, very inexpensive and I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a button, rhinestone button back there and I finished it off with at the top with some glitter and rhinestone buttons from uh, Dollar Tree so I think these turned out really beautiful I was actually inspired when I was flipping through the different TV stations and I ran across a home shopping uh, network channel. And I usually don't watch those but for some reason the ornaments they had caught my eye and they were selling them um, three for like forty dollars and they thought that was a terrific price because originally um, these could be priced as high as a hundred dollars a piece which I think is just absolutely absurd so I thought you know I could make something similar to that so um, I did and like I said it was very inexpensive so I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned okay so the first thing I did was um, look for the open face bulbs now it's the wrong time of year to be searching for them in the craft stores so I went online on eBay and I ran across a seller by the name of Agape Gifts and she was selling the bulbs for for eleven dollars and some change and that included shipping so I ordered from her and it arrived quickly and I was happy so um, I'll go ahead and give you her name and link down below in the drop down bar as well as on my blog so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to gently wash and thoroughly dry um, your bulb and make sure it is thoroughly dry um, and then what I did was I took this Marquee Love glitter it's by Heidi Swap I found this at Michaels unfortunately there's not um, a, a, the name of the glitter on this label I don't know why but there isn't and um, this is kind of my go-to glitter. I really like this. I think it's so pretty. It's an iridescent white with just a touch of silver. Now, if you can't find this um, in the craft store or on eBay or wherever, you can definitely make your own glitter. I would suggest maybe using Creativity or Creatology um, glitter at Michaels you can get the white iridescent and then just put the smallest amount of silver in it and if you look closely the glitter is kind of circular so I thought that was really pretty anyway okay you're going to need a small soft uh, paintbrush and some Mod Podge Super Gloss. This is a one coat gloss finish. It dries like clear glass. And the first thing we're going to do is paint the inside. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to see if you can see this from the outside how I did this. And I just painted partially up the back and kind of slope down like the side of an armchair on both sides like so and also of course on the bottom the reason I did this is because um, when I go to hot glue some of the things inside I don't want you to be able to look from the outside and see blobs of hot glue that would just look really tacky so um, we'll go ahead and do that together first Okay, I'm going to take my Mod Podge here and pour it in here. 
whenever I'm working with glitter, I never dip straight from the bottle. Like I said before, you can be as careful as as you can be, but you'll always end up with glitter in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to dip my brush, and I'm putting quite a bit on here. Do the bottom first, like so, and then I'm going to go up the back about three-fourths of the way up, I would say. And I'm putting quite a bit on it. And then we're just going to kind of slope down like an armchair. Make sure you get it on the inside in here as well. Doing the same thing here. Just kind of sloping down. And if you missed a spot, once you shake the glitter on, you can always go back in with the brush and add some more of the Mod Podge and then add a little more glitter. Okay doesn't have to be perfect okay so <clears throat> now I'm going to unscrew the top here and tap some of this in like that and I'm going to shake it around but before I do that I'm going to lay another towel down so I can pour the glitter out on the clean towel. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of roll it around there, making sure that it gets everywhere. And like I said, if there's spots here that you've missed, you can always go back in with a brush. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to have to pour a little more of the um, Mod Podge in the little cap that I have. And I use the little cap because I can toss it when I'm finished, but more than anything, it prevents me from wasting too much of this and then throwing it away. This side looks pretty good. Okay. And then I'll put some more in here. And I'm not really worried about putting too much in because I'll be saving any excess glitter and putting it back in the bottle. Okay, it looks pretty good from the outside. There's maybe a couple of spots here in the back that I can put a little more of this on. just pick this up like that. Put enough on back there to Okay. Looks pretty good. Checking it out all angles. Okay. So, now I'm going to take this and fold it and pour it back in. So now, 
I'm going to put some right here around the rim, some Mod Podge. So pour a little more in that tiny cap. And you'll see there's glitter in it, but that's okay. It doesn't matter if there's cap if there's glitter in the um, cap because that's going directly on the bulb. And not back in the jar, so. Okay. Just taking my paintbrush and using quite a bit, you're just gonna kind of dab it right here along the edge. I thought about using the Dollar Tree bling one piece at a time, putting around the edge, but I think it looks so much better doing this. Okay. So now I'm going to lay this clean paper towel out and I'm just going to pour it right over like this. A little too much here so I'm going to wipe that off like so. Okay, I just want to make sure I get it all around there. All right. I'm not going to shake it real hard, I'm just going to turn it over like that, let the glitter fall. And so you'll notice that you'll see glitter here and there stuck to the acrylic on the inside, but it's not because of the um, Mod Podge, it's just from static. So we're going to let this dry thoroughly for 24 full hours, and then when I when it's thoroughly dry, I'll come back and um, take a very soft brush and gently um, remove the excess glitter that's clinging to the acrylic bulb. So, for now, we're going to set this aside. And I just want to make sure there's no... Yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to set it down like so to dry. Okay. Whoops, I better put some more of this in the bottle, back in the bottle. There we go. Okay. Now if you notice, um, with this bulb that I made, I put a little bit of the glitter on the top with some bling and on the candle I put some bling and then some glitter on the top right here but I put the bling on first then I put the glitter on on the top it was just easier so um, while that is drying for 24 hours I'm going to show you how I Put the bling on. That was really easy. Move some things out of the way here. You're going to need some diamond wrap from Dollar Tree. They have all different colors, but I chose silver because the theme of my bulb was kind of a snowy silver and gold look. Okay. Um, I only used four, um, you know, rows of four, so we'll have to cut this down a little bit. All right. Dollar Tree, you get two of them. 120 hours a piece, they burn. And they seem to work really well. I'm going to pull the little tab out so it'll light up. I always check it to make sure it works. Yep. Once in a while you'll get one that doesn't work. Not too often, but once in a while. And it sure is disappointing when you 
fix them up and then go to turn them on and it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to loosely put this around here just to measure and give it one extra row here past what you think you'll need. You see the little fuzzies on the edge here? I go in and I just kind of cut these fuzzies off. Some people it doesn't bother, but I like it to look really nice and neat. This would be a really pretty gift to give somebody for Christmas in one of the Dollar Tree Christmas boxes that they have. Christmas time, they have some really pretty ones out. Okay. And I'm going to cut, I just, I just remembered, I'm going to cut one row off here because it only needs rows of four. Save all your excess bling because you can always use them on other little projects. Now I'm using the um, the Gorilla Glue glue sticks. It's supposed to be five times more durable, and I believe it. I really do think that they grab a lot quicker, so you have to work fairly fast. I bought those at Walmart, and. I I believe it was five, five ninety something per bag, but you get a lot of glue sticks in there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to turn this bling over and just barely squeezing the trigger. I'm going to just kind of drag the glue down like this. And this is hot glue, it's not low temp, so I'm going to lay it on there and then blow it enough like this to where you think you can safely touch it without scalding yourself and then just kind of hold it like so okay now once that's that holds really well like that and it feels solid then you can just go back in with your glue gun and of course you don't need to put glue on every single um, <clears throat> row but just here and there just skip several rows and then barely squeeze your trigger drag the glue across and hold it like that for a few seconds and I'm pulling this a little bit taut not a whole lot, but just a little bit. See, I can touch it now with my thumb, and it doesn't burn me. Because I waited a, a moment or two. Okay, so we're going to go a little further down, skipping some rows. Barely squeeze the trigger, and then drag the glue. There we go, pulling it taut. This is very nice um, to be able to purchase this for a dollar a roll when you have small projects like this. However, however, if you're planning on making a ton of these, I think the best place to find Diamond Wrap is on Amazon. They have some fabulous deals. You just type in the words Diamond Mesh and you'll see a lot of it pop up. Okay. I did the same thing here. Continue to wrap. Okay. And now you know why I said to do a row extra because it seems like it's 
maybe a half a row short, but you can't really cut these in the middle, so I just kind of lay it on top like that on this, oops, I'm out of frame, I'm sorry. I just kind of lay it out on top like that, and then um, I come back in and um, just glue it on top. this is the last the last one so I'm just going very gently put this on like so okay and that will be the back seam so we'll face that towards the back of the ornament where it can't be seen. Okay. So now we're going to do the top. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge, Mod Podge, <laughs> one coat gloss, and I'm just going to paint the top. And I'm doing, uh, I'm using fairly generous amount here. So, there we go. I make sure that it's completely covered. Okay. So, now I'm going to take another paper towel just to shake the glitter on. going to pour the glitter on. Like that. Then I'm going to come in and just take my finger and just kind of gently go up and down just to make sure that it sticks. I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm not going to shake it just going to turn it upside down like that and I'm going to allow this to dry okay set that aside and then put this back into the container like so set that aside. Okay. Okay, through the magic of video, this has miraculously dried for 24 hours in just a matter of a couple minutes. <laughs> so, I'm going to be sweeping out any excess inside and out. Gently, very gently. And sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Okay, so this looks pretty good, I think. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's on the outside. Okay. Yeah. A little bit here. And then shake out any excess that may be in there. There. Okay. So now we have it and we're going to be gluing on <clears throat> the background. Now I bought these picks at Michael's. It was after Christmas. Actually it was quite a bit 
after Christmas, and they were getting rid of the last junkiest of the junkiest craft supplies that they had. So these they threw these into a great big bin, and most of them were in pieces. So I just grabbed these because they were like a dime a piece. And I thought this was a really pretty gold, the, the light gold. That's what I was looking at last year. So um, I have a couple of different ones here. Um, but I'm going to cut this one up first. Now, the reason why I didn't use the flowers is when I actually put the flowers inside, um, they just seemed a little large for the scene that I wanted. And I wanted the scene to show through in places because of the light. I just thought it would give it such a pretty effect. So I went with um, the little fern, the gold fern pieces and um, I cut those apart and there's three of them on here so I cut a couple more off um, another one um, so I did use the the white little berries as well this was very pretty but it was I felt it was rather stiff um, to try to hot glue onto the side of that because it's very hard. It's not pliable. This is very pliable and this is what you want. So I'm going to cut these off. Like so. And I like the lacy look of the fern and um, the fact that the light will go through that. Now, some of them, like this one, had gold berries too, which I thought were really pretty. But I wanted some white in there because I wanted to make it look as much like a snow scene as possible. set this aside for a different project. I'm going to cut this off because I want to use at least five pieces. I think that makes a nice little scene. So when you're looking for fern, I mean for picks, check to see how flexible uh, the the, um, the leaves are and also whether it will allow the light to shine through that's really important okay so I'm going to set that aside and I have the little reindeer that I told you about that I bought 10 to a pack and um, for three dollars and some odd cents and once again the um, name of the seller and the cost and all that will be provided for you in the link below the drop down bar and on my blog so this is a flat back embellishment thought that was really cute and then this is one of the buttons that I purchased from the seller as well. And I think it was, with shipping included, I think it was maybe close to $4. I'll have to double check that one though. And you get 10 of them, and I thought these were really pretty. Okay. So I'm going to start by gluing these ferns on and I think I'm going to place this one right directly in the middle using the Gorilla Glue hot glue I'm going to gently 
squeeze this right here at the bottom part like that and then I'm just going to pick this up and hold this on the back part um, this seems to grab pretty readily so I'm just going to hold it there until I feel like I can put my fingers in it yeah push it down and it's okay if the top part sticks up because it kind of looks um, a little more like scenery when um, you just glue the bottom part down and then the top part is you know away from the bulb it looks more like scenery it doesn't look like a painting that's pressed flat against there so now I'm going to place one on or actually I place two on this side and two on this side but they'll be very close together and overlapping each other so let me do this just on the bottom part and of course we're gluing it on the um, white glitter so you're not going to see a whole bunch of um, blobs of glitter you know from this side This will be right here on this side, like that, see, and then I'll put two over here. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to stick this right here. Wait a few minutes until you can put your finger in it. There we go. All right. There we go. Alright. So we have this so far. And you can see the way it looks in the bulb, too. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this little reindeer on, but I'm only going to put glue right here on the top part of the antlers as well as just the head. He'll be standing up and believe it or not, this grabs very well with acrylic glue. I was a little concerned about it at first. Just putting a small amount on his antlers and on his head. Um, but it surprisingly it grabbed very well and I'm putting this little guy I'm just holding him right up against the fern um, a little over to the right hand side of the ornament and like I said it grabs really well look at this so it's not going anywhere and then I'm going to glue in some little berries around the deer. Okay, hold on for just one second. My dog is wanting out and I can hear her. So she's kind of grumping. Hold on for a second because she'll continue to bug me if I don't. Okay, Lucy. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to place these just kind of randomly, but I'll do the same thing. I'll just put a little bit of hot glue in the back and maybe a little at the bottom here. And we're gluing them around the deer, but right 
up against the glitter and the ferns, like so. Okay, I'm going to do the same side. I, I mean, I do the opposite side, not the same side. Same way on the opposite side. <laughs> There, like so, and let's see, I think I only did two on there, so I'm just going to leave it at two. That looks good enough to me. I'm not going to go with the third one. I'll put that aside for another project. Now, for the little um, flat back rhinestone button, to me, this looks kind of like a, a star or a snowflake. So, um, I'm just going to put some hot glue in the back. It's probably a little more than I need. And I'm just going to glue it on the branches right here of one of the trees. Not trees, they look like trees, but they're ferns. Just like so. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to put a little more glue, I think, here to balance it out against this fern here. So, put a little bit here. Yeah. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. All right, so now you have, now you can see sparkle when you turn it this way, when you turn it that way, and you can see it from the outside. So there you go. And let me get this off here. thinking pull this plant out a little bit away from the fern. There we go. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? If I can get this to yeah. What do you think? You think it looks okay? I don't know, maybe I should put that up a tiny bit higher, but that looks okay, because at least when you turn it around you can see sparkle, I guess, at all angles. Okay, so now we have what looks like that. And um, you don't want to put too much as far as the way of metal in the back. You don't want it to become so weighty that if you hang it, that you know it falls back like this. Um, what really balances it out, too, is when you put the candle inside. So the last thing that we have left to do is the top part. And I'm going to start by just taking this off. And... Um, gluing rhinestones around here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Actually, I picked these up last year sometime. And I'm just going to start by, um, these are sticky back, but I'm going to start just by putting a little ultra tiny dot of glue right here, just so I can anchor it. And I'm going to blow on this for a minute. And I'm just going to wrap it on around. Um, this is sticky. But I'll anchor it on both ends. Just to be extra sure that it's not going to come off. squeezing your trigger there we go and 
Okay. And if it cools and there's a little bit around the edges there, I just kind of try to take as much as I can off. Of course, you can always cover it up with the glitter, so I'm not real worried about it. So when I put the glitter on the top, you know, it'll kind of seep down in here anyway. All right. So <clears throat> now for this part, you have to put this back on. All right. So you want to put some of your Mod Podge on there. Still use this. Yeah, I can. Okay. So I'm gonna do like this all the way around the top. And I'm being generous with it. It looks like everything looks good there. I just want to pour some of the glitter on the top. And then, of course, we'll allow that to dry. Up and down. Gently. Just turn it over. Don't shake it. Just turn it over. And then I just go around the sides. Ah, uh, maybe that was a little too much on the sides there. I guess I shouldn't be wiping. I should be pushing in. I'll show you. Like this. Pushing in. I should know better. Okay, so I'm just going to allow this to dry, and um, then I'm going to brush it off around the sides here, the excess glitter. So let me set this aside while I put the glitter back in the bottle. Just a little bit, but every bit counts. Okay. Now, at this point, if you wanted to um, hot glue a ribbon on the front here, or maybe even um, tie a ribbon right here before you put the hook on, you can do that. But I didn't do that because I think that it looks pretty enough on its own. Um, so, let me get a hook. I picked up these hooks last year. So I'm just taking one of these hooks and I'm going to turn it like that. And just put the hook on like so. See? Now, I know this still needs to dry, but I'm going to turn it on to show you how pretty it looks. And remember, you're going to take the seam part and put it on towards the back so it can't be seen. And let me turn this on too, to look at it. Okay. I'm going to turn off the light. Well, I have a little light in this room, but not much. But how beautiful would these be on your Christmas tree? Seriously. They're so pretty. And I just set my 
wrist down in the Mod Podge. <laughs> so now I've got Mod Podge dripping on my wrist. Okay. <laughs> That's what I get for turning off the lights, huh? But aren't they pretty? Okay. So I'll leave you with this. And um, thank you so much for watching and taking the time to watch and listen to me drone on about things. So <laughs> God bless you all. You take care. Merry Christmas.